This series was born out of my dreams and I'm helping you bring them into your kitchen. These are the Creamy Pasta Diaries. I'm Christina and you're here on The Maid. Can I come in your kitchen, baby? And cook all night long with you. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a creamy garlic sun-dried tomato and Asiago pasta. This is a real showstopper and it starts with garlic, a lot of it, for cloves. I want to mince this garlic. I would say this is a good recipe to cook on a fourth or fifth date, but definitely not a first because there's a lot of garlic. Next, I'm gonna chop up half a shallot. This is a large shallot. One of the star ingredients of this dish are these beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. These guys have been packed in oil and they're marinated. You wanna make sure you get these because they're gonna add a ton of flavor to your pasta. I'm adding a good handful, probably about nine of them, and I'm going to stack them on top of each other and just give them a nice slice so that every bite of pasta has a nice chunk of sun-dried tomato. What's a creamy pasta without cheese, right? Today, we're using this beautiful Asiago. It has a nice black rind, but we're actually going to take this off and we're not gonna eat it. I want you to take your piece of Asiago. This just comes right off, very easy. And we wanna grate a generous amount of it on our box grater. Use the large holes. You want about a cup loosely packed, but Truth be told, I grated a little extra for myself. Mmm. Mmm. Asiago is a phenomenal cheese. So much flavor. It's tangy without being offensive. It's creamy without being goopy. It's a beautiful cheese for this pasta. Wait till you see how it turns out in the final dish. This needs to come to the stove as well. So in addition to the ingredients that we just prepped, we're also bringing to the stove one cup of heavy cream, your dried thyme. If you have fresh, that's really good too. You need one tablespoon of butter, salted or unsalted is completely fine, and two really big handfuls of fresh baby spinach. Now, you can use baby kale or any other green that you like. Just make sure it doesn't have to be cooked before adding it to the sauce. Something really tender and bright green will work perfectly. We're at the stove and this is gonna to come together really quickly. I've got my pasta water already up to a boil. I'm gonna season it. This pan is where we're going to build our sauce and then mix our pasta with our sauce. So let me show you how to season your pasta water. First, up to a boil, and you want it to taste like the sea. This is your only opportunity to season the pasta. I'm gonna start with two big spoons. And if you've never tasted your pasta water before, I want this to be your first time. Mm. You should get a distinct saltiness. I'm not getting that yet, so I'm adding one more spoon. If you add too much salt, dump out some water. Throw fresh water back in, it'll come to a boil in no time. This is a very important step. Don't skip it and don't rush it. Mm. Perfect. You wanna cook your pasta for two minutes less than it says on the package. So I'm going for 12 minutes and we're working with a kind of a skinny rigatoni today with these nice ridges to grab onto the sauce. So I want that in ASAP because this sauce is gonna take no time to build. As this is coming up to temp, I'm going to do one, two, three turns of the pan of olive oil and I'm adding one tablespoon of butter. Oh, I can hear my water. Here we go. Time to drop the pasta. Now because there's gonna be a lot happening, very important to set your timer, 12 minutes. But check your pasta, check the package. You need to know how long yours takes. My butter is now sizzling, my oil is sizzling. It's ready for our first ingredient, which is the shallot. We don't want the garlic to burn. So we start with the shallot. Let that release its flavor. Don't worry if you don't get all of it. It'll all get in there. Beautiful. Mm. 
It's going to smell incredible right away because of that olive oil and butter mixture. Check on your pasta, make sure nothing is sticking. Turning my heat down just a little bit to a medium low because I'm about to add my garlic. It's very important that the garlic doesn't burn, it doesn't caramelize, it just infuses. Next ingredient goes in, our garlic. Along with the garlic, we're gonna add a big pinch of thyme. Add as much as you like, about a quarter to half a teaspoon. And if you have fresh thyme, by all means, use it. Throw the whole sprig in there, pull it out of the end. This pasta looks phenomenal. Our garlic is cooking in our butter. And olive oil, oh, it smells delicious. Stand by for the cream. Your nose is gonna tell you a lot here. Right as you're smelling that garlic release, it's been about 30 seconds, no more. I'm gonna add my cream. You wanna bring all of this together and let it reduce. I'm gonna bring my heat up to medium high. I'm on number seven. And we want this to reduce a little bit. One of the reasons we're undercooking the pasta a little bit is because we want it to finish cooking in the sauce. That's really important. The starch is gonna leach out of the pasta, the sauce is gonna thicken, and the pasta is gonna absorb it. That's a real key to success here. As we're waiting for this to come up to a boil, I'm gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna season it with salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and a good sprinkle of freshly cracked black pepper. You're gonna see this come up to a boil and we wanna keep it at a bare simmer. We can see the color changing in this sauce. I can smell the beautiful sun-dried tomatoes starting to perfume the sauce, and you wanna try it. I love to use these little espresso spoons if you don't have a set, click the link below. I have one for you. Oof. If the flavors don't immediately come alive, add a little bit more salt. And you should really start to taste this come together. I'm actually gonna shut this off because I don't want it to over reduce. And we are still gonna add the cheese, our beautiful spinach. This is gonna release some liquid. Keep that in mind. You don't want this too, too thick. And we're gonna add a little bit of pasta water. I'm 30 seconds away from my pasta being done, so I'm giving it a try. Mmm, oh, it's hot. Mmm, it's perfect, look at that. That is al dente. That's just a hair before al dente. And that's why I wanna pull it now, because it's gonna keep cooking in the sauce. I wanna remove a small cup of pasta water. This is liquid gold. I'm gonna drain this pasta and I'll be right back. I got my sauce back on medium low. My pasta has gone in. And we want to marry these two together in all the creamy pasta goodness. Oh my goodness. Because we want this pasta to finish cooking right here, I'm gonna take some of this liquid gold, this pasta water, and I'm adding about a quarter of a cup now don't think, oh, this is gonna make my pasta watery. It's supposed to be creamy. The pasta is gonna absorb that water. It's gonna release more of the starch and you will be left with a creamy, dreamy pasta. If you are celiac or gluten-free, you can easily do this exact same pasta with a really high quality corn pasta. Go to any Italian grocer, they will have it for you. And you wanna listen, you can hear it. It's at a little simmer. You'll hear the bubbles just breaking the surface. That's how you'll know you're on the right track. And let this cook, take your time. My pasta's been in here for about two minutes. I'm gonna add the spinach, because remember, this is gonna release some liquid as well. And it's gonna wilt down like crazy. You wanna monitor your heat. You don't want this boiling too hard. Let this wilt, get really beautiful. Oh, look, it's all creamy again, guys. You can absolutely do this at home, just like in a restaurant. Our spinach is wilted. I wanna shut off the heat, and it's time to add the cheese. <laughs> look at this pasta, oh my gosh.
this is done, we're gonna plate this up and it's time to eat. Did I mention this is a portion for two? This is my favorite part. Time to eat. I like a generous portion. Mm. Top with a little freshly chopped parsley. I would pretend that I don't know how this tastes yet, but I've already been eating it out of the pot and it tastes amazing. Mmm. Mmm. The garlic is there. The acidity from the sun-dried tomatoes, they became so juicy in that cream sauce. The spinach is just there to make you feel good. And the Asiago, what a treat. Please make this pasta. And if you do, let me know. And if you wanna see more of the Creamy Pasta Diaries, subscribe, because they're on their way. Mm. See you soon. <laughs> mm -hmm.